in the midnight in the afternoon. I was sleeping in bed for a second. In the meantime, I can I heard a cracking sound. I wake up and didn't see anything. I thought I was dreaming or something. But then I just gave up and I just went to bed. And then I never heard another cracking sound. And I wake up really quick and said nothing again. And I said like, what on earth is going on here? And then I did something very stupid. I had to fit the cage what's going on with these sounds coming from my house. I am holding a flashlight and I take care of myself in darkness. I'm walking around my room, looking somewhere around from my room. I look in my closet, but there's nothing there. I look under my bed. I see a, a book, like an old book from my, under my bed. I pick it up and I open it and it said like, Dear, dear homeless, I think I need to find a way out of this house. That's strange. Why do I have to leave this house for someone's sake? And I still read it. And I need to get out of this. Because something is after me. Follow me. I don't know why I need to get out. I don't know what it is. But it's coming from my nightmares. But now it's real. Coming after me right now. It's a nice stress. Like something to go wrong with this guy for some sake. And then now I heard some moving sounds coming from my door. I looked behind. The door was wide open. I mean very wide with the darkness hall. I don't know why something is here in my house. Now I need to do the same thing that guy did to get out of this house. Now I bring my flashlight and I bring my gun with me. That's all the lie. But using it to protect myself. I hold my flashlight and my gun. Looking around when I'm moving to the hallways. I look in the window, but it's like whole black clouds and everything. And I look back, and I saw something right from my room door. It was tall, but different shape as a human. It was all black, but shaped like a skeleton. But with dry blood from ins inside of it. And then why his mouth wide open trying to get to me. And I run to the hallways very run really fast if it get me. And I try to find somewhere to hide. And I see a door. And I have no choice I need to hide. I went to it and I tried to try to push it to make that day never get to me. And then everything went quiet. I sit down to the door. If it won't get to me. <sighs> Man. What's going on with this? It's the same thing what happens to that guy? Or maybe... Maybe it's me. And then now I heard a cracking sound, like from the floor, like moving really quiet. I held my breath really hard. And then I just heard something said like, "I think you never get away from me, G." 
Jacob. And I shocked. That thing knows my name. And they, I think it went away. I opened the door really quick. I take a peek and there's nothing there. I went out head the hallways. I see the word of exit. God, I finally, I finally getting out. And then when I opened it, I saw I was in the door. It's that thing it's staring at me with glowing red eyes. And then it said, How pathetic, King, you are, little guy. I think your life 